I, I, I pick the standard economic definition of rationality. Uh, because once you start incorporating all kinds of things into rationality, it just becomes a meaningless concept. So if you say, um, people are rational, but yes, but I also care about your welfare. And let's add that as another component of utility into the equation. That every time you, you're making up another part of utility, it means that you're kind of undermining the concept of rationality. And, you know, I, I'm a behavioral economist, which means that most of my work is showing that people are irrational, but I love economics. Economics is, is beautiful. It's a, it's a wonderful theory. It's a great perspective to have. And um, I don't want to uh, eliminate that. I think it has incredible amount of insights. However, what behavioral economics teaches us is that economics is not the whole story. It's not everything. And when you come to do policies or interventions or to give recommendations for people to how they want to live their life, you want to take as complete picture as you, want, as you can. So you want to take the parts from economics that are accurate and you want to feel as much as you can above that from how people actually behave.